good morning. I thought I'll skip the whole breakfast thing. Um, it's all the same anyway, so yeah. So yeah, just I thought I'll get to the sea and then just tell you what sort of what sort of like. So the night was quite cold, like the wind coming from the sea is quite chilly. I guess that's why it's called the North Sea. <laughs> but yeah, it was quite chilly. I actually had to sleep with my long sleeves on. But yeah. So it was interesting like the whole evening though. We spent the whole evening chatting away with like other campers who travel by bike. Uh, all of them were Dutch. <laughs> uh, we just spent the whole evening uh, chatting away about like our travels and what do we do outside of travels and stuff and like where have we traveled or where we planning to travel. Just changing tips on bicycle gear. So it was really interesting to see and just to have a chat with all these like different people who travel in a similar manner. And, but yeah, yesterday in general, like, it was a day of like meeting these people, like st strangers who just travel a similar way. Um, early in the day before I got to Bruges, I was chatting uh, like for about 15 to 20 minutes. I was cycling with this elderly couple, and they're like, they were like 78, nearing the 80s. And yeah, they apparently they cycle every single day. And when you see like people in that age being so alive and um, fit and full of energy you just want to keep going and pushing like to carry on cycling or hiking or stuff like this so yeah and even like on the campsite there was this one lady she was 80 years old you would never ever be able to tell that she's 80 years old and apparently she cycles like that as well and apparently she just got back from a three month trip on a bike and she does 80 to 120 kilometers a day in her 80s. It's mad. So, yeah. I think I need to step up my game. I need to catch up to old people. So, I also didn't realize how close to France I was. It's apparently only like 30 kilometers from French border. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna change my plans. I'm gonna go to Dunkirk and then Part, like follow the coast past Calais and stuff rather than cut in through the inland so yeah I'm gonna follow that and today's mission also is before leaving Belgium so within 30 kilometers trip I have to find a place where I get Belgian waffle and a coffee so that's today's mission before I get to France after I get to France well, we'll see what they have to offer but then definitely probably like tomorrow Today's Saturday, yeah. So I think tomorrow, Sunday morning, needs to start with a coffee and a croissant. So yeah, gotta do the whole, you know, cliche things of each country. So let's see what France brings us. Mission accomplished. Made it. So just before, I think I got like only like 10 kilometers left to French border. And I did find a place that's actually open. I did go past a lot of them, but most of them were still closed. I guess it's too early. But it doesn't make sense because it's 11 o'clock. Like past 11 and it's not open. It's strange. Because the beach is already full of people. So yeah, I can enjoy this beauty now. And a cup. After a massive dose of sugar and caffeine, I can now easily push to France. It's really tasty though, like it was it was definitely different than what you I had like in Poland or in any other country, like where you get like on the beach, you get the waffles. Like this one was definitely different. Like it's got it's got a lot of moisture in the middle as well. And it was like really sticky sweet, it's like it's dipped in like melted sugar or something, I don't know. Because on all the other ones they're like just quite dry and they just spread like Nutella and stuff on top. But this one was like naturally moist and sticky and sweet. So yeah, it's really nice.
also a Google light. It said the concrete path like this should be going all along this way to France, but it doesn't. So I'll just have to get across that darker bit of sand. I went there like on foot to have a look, it seems quite hard. And yeah, you can see like some bike tracks here as well. So we'll go closer to the sea and I'll try to cycle along the beach on the sand. Yeah, it should be fine. It seems quite compact, so. And I think you're gonna get some nice views going on that. Just managed to get out of the beach through the dunes. Just had to push my bike for like a kilometer and a half or nearly two kilometers. And I must say, it was absolutely not worth it. I spent about more than half an hour, 40 minutes doing that. And I'm so fucking tired. I'm so fucking tired now. So yeah, it's gonna empty my shoes out of sand. I need to find a place where I can get a cold cola. Look at that. I turned a nice day into a shitty day. Probably quite a lot of you have seen the movie and heard about the Battle of Dunkirk and the evacuation of Dunkirk. So quite a lot of it has happened around here. In these beaches, apparently nearly half a million soldiers were evacuated of like British, French, uh, Belgian most significant thing was because they couldn't get close to the port with big ships so a lot of little vessels private vessels from the Britain like just fishing ships and stuff anyone who had a private little ship they were going to here to Dunkirk to pick up soldiers and take them back to safety in Britain so a really big battle happened here to come here to see the monument and actually where the battle has happened. And I think following the way along the French coast I'm gonna see quite a few of these. All kinds of like war memorials and bunkers like I saw yesterday. So yeah that's why I chose to rather um, go back to an inland to France. Just follow the, the beaches because there's a lot of history here. Just done a quick stop at um, uh, 
town of Saint Folkin. Um, just had a quick sandwich, um, energy drink. Had a like a call with the family as well. So yeah, so far it's not really been really good entrance to France, where I was stuck, uh, like on the Belgian side, like stuck in the sand. Then as I come in France, like the roads were quite bad. But also as I was following a couple of cycleways, one was shut. Then I went to another one, it was shut as well. So I had to take another detour, so it took quite a lot of detours. So now I'm done 70k. It's six o'clock, so yeah, and I still got like 30 left. So I think today I'll get to the campsite about eight o'clock. If I get before eight, I'm happy. So yeah, let's quickly finish this and try to pedal my way there quickly. I got good wind at least, so I'll try to give it extra push on myself as well. So I'll try to keep up like at least like 22, 23 speed. Hopefully it'll work. And another one. Go straight. Can't go straight. Made it to campsite. No slippers already. Pushing hard for the last 30k. Um, my average was at least like 25. So yeah, pushing really hard. But luckily, I also had the wind on my back, so made it. So now I just need to cook pasta. I have a little bit of salami left. I've got some pickles, um, some crisps. Uh, and yeah, I've got loads of tea left, I didn't drink much today. So yeah, I'm gonna set everything up, have a chat with my family. Um, this my power banks, I've got two of them flat, and I couldn't find anywhere to charge really, like to leave it safely. And the only place I could see, like it was in the bathroom, or the laundry room. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go late in the evening to the laundry room, Put my power banks in charge and then come back probably wake up at like five o'clock in the morning go um, go collect them because there's loads of people that just don't feel safe leaving them like from now overnight so yeah i'm gonna just probably just go just before bed like half 11 or so and just yeah just leave the power banks there but for now just pack up um well have dinner and yeah just enjoy the evening so first impressions of France loads of rubbish there was just so much rubbish everywhere like on the like alongside the roads and streets Ooh, car so there was just rubbish everywhere alongside roads car alongside the road um, I saw quite a few refugees as well at least like 20 or more and there was so many like shopping carts along the way as well like on the cycle roads so yeah like the first impression was that it's not clean um, and also what is it seems strange like you go and pass all the towns and cities and there's not a lot of people and it seems like all the businesses are closed as well like all the stores were most of the stores were closed most of the cafes were closed it seems like everything was shut so it was really strange but I don't know, maybe it's just like this part. I'm gonna see like obviously tomorrow how the further going into France is, but like around Calais and Dunkirk. Um, I must say, well, I'm not really impressed. But yeah, I'll see how it goes further in. Cause for now it's just loads of rubbish, crappy roads. <laughs> A lot of roads were closed as well. So yeah. We'll see how it goes going deeper into France. But first impression, 